welcome back to my channel today i am filming my 23 week and 24 week update if you're new welcome my name is monica i am documenting my second pregnancy i have currently a two she's a little over a half um, but she'll be three this august so i have a toddler and now I am pregnant with my second. This is my gender surprise baby. I'm documenting my pregnancy week by week. So if you guys are interested in that, definitely subscribe. After you're finished watching this video, check out my playlist of my second pregnancy where I have been doing weekly updates. And yeah, without further ado, let's get started. I didn't film my week 23 last week because I didn't feel much had changed and I didn't want to film it. I had just uploaded two videos and I didn't want it to fall. I usually post these videos on like a Monday or a Tuesday and it wouldn't have fallen that way. So not much, I didn't notice a lot had changed because I had just updated you guys on a lot. So I decided to add it into this week's video. I did, however, um, get my glucose test done during that week, week 23, which I uploaded a vlog. It's my previous video. If you haven't seen it, you can watch it after this one. <laughs> um, but yeah, I still haven't gotten my results. That's another reason why I didn't want to do an update that week and I still haven't received my results. And they haven't called me by now. I don't think they will. I guess I could call if I wanted to. Um, <laughs> but I'm assuming they're just going to let me know at my next visit, which is this month in June in a couple weeks. Um, so I might just wait. I honestly feel like if there isn't an urgency to let me know what my results were, they probably were fine. And so... I'm just probably going to wait until my next doctor's appointment for him to let me know. I'm totally fine with that. During the past two weeks, I have experienced round ligament pain. And I have mentioned it before. It's like a pain on the left side. And like it can be your left or your right side because your uterus is like moving around and growing. And oh, definitely not. Maybe what I thought was round ligament pain before. <laughs> it's not what it is maybe it wasn't maybe it was maybe it wasn't but the pain i'm feeling now is just like it's it's that shooting burning pain up like near your hips and it's just terrible pain um but i have been feeling that on the right side definitely <laughs> it's usually when i'm in bed moving around because we all know that moving <laughs> from side to side when you're pregnant is just difficult it's so difficult and it just it takes like two minutes for me to switch sides <laughs> and like get comfortable again uh, that's what nights are like for me uh, but like I said I mentioned before in my last video my pregnancy pillow helps so much and I'll link it down below again in the description if you guys are interested if not just put a pillow between your legs that always helps I really think that it's because it just takes the pressure off of the other leg do you get me so that both of your legs aren't just it just takes the pressure off i don't know that's what i think um, <laughs> that's just a guess a wild guess i don't know <laughs> um and i also wanted to talk about stretch marks because i did week i did read that during week 23 that stretch marks might be coming along uh since you're growing at this point and um so if that's happening to you if this is your first baby it just you just gotta roll with the punches <laughs> i mean i got stretch marks last time around so i have stretch marks so i can't tell whether i'm getting new stretch marks or whether they're the same <laughs> ones i don't know <laughs> so i just last time around i used bio oil I think that was I think that was the only thing I used last time around was bio oil. And I honestly didn't even get stretch marks this early in the pregnancy with Maddie. I I got stretch marks literally in like end of July, August. It was that last 
few weeks that my belly just grew and that's when I really like started to notice that I got stretch marks. If you used bio oil, maybe it worked for you. Maybe I didn't put it on enough. Maybe I didn't use a lot of it or maybe it's just my body, but it just, it happens. I'm still applying coconut oil religiously and generously <laughs> in hopes of just not creating new stretch marks and also just to keep my belly moisturized because my belly does get itchy so your pro your belly is probably also getting itchy and that's why it's getting itchy it's because it's stretching they say not to scratch because that can <laughs> bring on the stretch marks so don't scratch sometimes it's really hard so that's why I like to keep my belly moisturized so that it's not super itchy um but yeah like i said if you it's inevitable i mean it is what it is yeah i just wanted to talk about that if, if that's something you're going through uh you're not alone <laughs> and um i also wanted to talk about the movement it's definitely increased i have felt movement i can see it on the outside we can feel it it's great sometimes it's a little uncomfortable because uh baby's not big enough to be like really really pushing on my bladder but it is big enough to where it can like I'm thinking maybe just like stepping on my bladder because I can feel like my bladder and I can just feel like a pushing so it'll be like for a millisecond I can I want to like it feels like I really really need to go pee but the baby will get off and then it feels like I don't really need to go pee does that make sense? It's kind of like, it feels like this and I'm doing this because like of the water and the baby being in the sack and just kind of moving around. So if baby puts just a little pressure on my bladder for just, just a moment, it'll feel like I really need to go. And then I don't really need to go, <laughs> if that makes sense. But sometimes I do and sometimes baby does put pressure and then, you know, you really got to go if you, you know what I mean. <laughs> um, and I think that baby is also just big enough to where I feel any sudden movement because I, I'm feeling, I think that's what makes you feel like you're feeling movement way more often. And it's definitely because baby's bigger and it's just getting cramped in there. Um, and I also want to talk about hiccups. I am feeling hiccups. Last time around, I wasn't really familiar with like what the difference was between the hiccups and all that stuff I would just see other moms saying they can feel their baby hiccup and I'm just like what does that even mean <laughs> like how can you tell so it's it, it's just the regular jerky um, patterns that you'll notice if it's happening regularly kind of like the same movement uh, it's obviously not a kick and um, that's what the hiccups are <laughs> and they'll last for maybe a minute like our hiccups will so I I, I can tell now the difference <laughs> and before I was just like oh it's it it just makes sense to me now I don't know it probably sounds super dumb because people probably get it right away and I don't <laughs> but that's just what I was um, thinking sorry I keep looking down just to make sure that I'm not forgetting anything I haven't really craved anything specifically I'm still kind of on the ice I still got like ice water oh, it just feels so hydrating um, and I don't know I just really been into the ice I've been really trying to keep up on my water we haven't really bought any other kind of beverages lately I think Alfredo's trying to not drink too much soda either, even though he still kind of does. <laughs> uh, but we've just got kind of water, so I've been trying to stay really hydrated. Today, Madeline and I went out to get donuts, and I was talking about how we don't have a Krispy Kreme, and I've kind of been wanting a Krispy Kreme. So maybe we'll take a drive up. I don't think so. For those of you who don't know, I live in Reno, Nevada. And we don't have a Krispy Kreme here. So, <laughs> yeah, that kind of sucks. But it's fine. We still have good donut places here where I get my donuts from. But not the same. Not like Krispy Kreme. So, let me just show you guys my belly and we'll be done. Alright guys, so this is what my belly looks like. 
it looks like I'm going like this, <laughs> but I'm not. <laughs> but this is kind of where my back ends, if you guys can't tell. And this is just like a regular crop top, and I thought it looked cute if it, it went perfect with the maternity tights. These are a size small, they're getting pretty tight. Um, but I have mediums that I'm going to start wearing, but they're getting pretty tight, but that's pretty good for our second trimester. I'm in small maternity tights and yeah, everyone thinks I'm having a boy. All right, guys, so that's going to be the end of this video. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. Comment down below if you have any questions. I'd be happy to answer them. Let me know if you are pregnant, how far along you are, and let me know what you're having, if it's a boy or a girl, because I don't know what I'm having, and I just like to know what everyone else is having. <laughs> and if you're new, don't forget to check out some of my other videos. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. Thank you.